Welcome to San Amaro, the poster child for the American dream. A city where any street criminal can become a kingpin and every meth head is an entrepreneur. The city is in the thrall of the biggest spree of organized crime since Prohibition. While the police have been tackling the symptoms of this problem, the heads of the criminal syndicates that run this town have been allowed free reign to build their empires and their wealth. The RICO Act was passed in 1970 to strip the mob bosses of their thin veneer of respectability. But prosecutions are rare and take time. In today's world, time is not a luxury that we possess. My name is Commander Karen Redfern, seconded here from British Counterterrorism Command. And I'm here because I have a reputation for finding difficult people for difficult jobs. You come from a range of backgrounds, police, military intelligence, FBI, secret service. But you have been handpicked because you have one thing in common. You know how to get things done, even if sometimes that causes headaches for your superiors. You have the skills and the attitude that are needed to resolve these cases with a certain sense of expedience. We are a one-of-a-kind rapid response unit. Where there is an immediate threat to the American people and a legal case cannot be built in time, then we step in. We will disrupt criminal organizations, we will break apart these gangs, we will track down their bosses, and we will bring them to justice by any means necessary. If you succeed, you'll be quiet heroes. If you fail, they won't be playing Danny Boy at your funeral. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to RICO. So what first comes to mind when you think roguelike? Well, throw all that away, because Rico is a roguelike and it's a first-person shooter where you play as a loose cannon cop who shoots first and asks questions never. It's a game about breaching doors in randomly generated rooms and randomly generated levels with randomly generated enemies, randomly generated health packs, and you get it, it's a roguelike, and when you die, it's over. No coming back. Now, for full disclosure, I did receive a key for this game from the developer in early March and have been playing through it non-stop, and I didn't expect to enjoy it nearly this much, so I've been agonizing about how to share it. The main mode, case mode, isn't really great for showing off all the individual mission types and weaponry, because you have to unlock weapon weapons as you progress, and there's no guarantee you'll get to see all my favorite weapons. So I decided to do a series of four quick matches, which are also randomly generated, to show off each level type and all of my favorite weapons. So this is the quick match menu where you can generate a random level, and all of the weapons that you unlocked or bought in case mode are available here to choose from, so unlike in case mode where you have to re-unlock the weapons each time you start, in quick match you can just use any weapon you've already bought at least once in case mode. So that makes it a lot easier to show the game off. There are four level types in the game. The level type we're going to look at first is Office. Now the way this game works is you walk up to a door, you press X to kick the door down, and then slow motion activates and you shoot as many guys as possible before the slow motion wears off. And the goal is to clear the room. When the room is cleared, then you can safely walk inside without worrying about any more enemies. The rooms, since this is a roguelike, are randomly generated and you never know what's going to be inside. Of course, what's going to be inside has to fit with the game's uh, mechanics and limitations, but you never know where the enemies are going to be placed, you never know what the inside of the room is going to be like. It's like a grab bag of what's going to kill you. You don't know what you're going to see. Now, for the most part, enemies are content to pretend they can't hear you killing their comrades and they will stay in their own rooms because this is a very arcadey kind of roguelike, but occasionally when you walk near a door, there's a chance an enemy will breach it before you breach it. So you need to watch out for that. Can't really punch the punching bags, we can only whip them with our baton. So, but yeah, this is the main mechanic of the game. You burst open a door, look inside, shoot as many guys as possible while slow-mo is active. And if slow-mo runs out, then you wait at the choke point and hit the guy with the baton. At least that's how I play it. Seems to work pretty well for me. Now what we have here is the smallest available map size. Usually maps have multiple floors. But this is the smallest map size physically possible. Usually you won't get maps this small. 
but when you randomly generate a match for quick mode, it can happen. So, our goal in quick mode is to clear the building entirely of hostiles. Oh, you see this door is locked? These doors have shutters on them, that means we have to break these computer terminals. And it opens the shutters. That's another mechanic in the game. So anyway, the goal in quick mode is to clear the entire building of hostiles. Make sure every room is clear. And then after that, we have to leave. And leaving can be difficult because as soon as we clear the building, reinforcements will show up to try and stop us from reaching the door. In larger levels, you can usually outmaneuver the, uh, the reinforcements, but in smaller levels like this one, you're pretty much guaranteed to run into them. And when you get shot at in this game, you lose health fast. Keeping in mind that these are fairly weak enemies. But anyway, that's it for the first mission of Rico. You'll learn more about the game mechanics next time. I just wanted you to get your feet wet, so to speak.